At the start of 2022, I left America and moved to Cape Town, South Africa. I didn't know a single person in this country, but I packed my bags, hopped onto a plane, and came here. This country is stunning. The people are so warm. It's exciting to be here at age 23. Sometimes it feels like I'm in a dream. A lot of people ask me why I moved to South Africa, and the truth is, there isn't just one reason. For one, I came here to study at the University of Cape Town and earn my master's in public health, thanks to a scholarship from the Rotary Club. The public health challenges here in South Africa are quite unique and is a context that I would never be able to see in the United States. But my studies weren't the only reason that I moved here. I graduated from USC last year and I wanted to christen my independence by challenging myself and living abroad for at least a year. As someone with African, Indian, and European ancestry, I felt that South Africa was a place where I could explore my own identity and connect with society in a deeper way. I truly feel that African Americans ought to make a trip to the African continent, and I figured this would be a good start. I'm currently making plans to visit Durban, which is a city in South Africa that has the most Indians outside of India. It's not easy to find the words to describe what I'm experiencing living here in South Africa. I love living here, but it doesn't come without its challenges. I had to learn to navigate my new life here in South Africa. I had to build friendships in a place where I knew nobody. I had to orient myself in the city and figure out how to get around. I have to learn the way that people communicate and talk with each other, maybe even learning some new languages. I also have to deal with the reality of security and safety threats, which are quite persistent in living in South Africa. Getting used to things like load shedding, where the power goes off for hours at a time. And I really had to pay attention and study what life is like here. The new languages to learn, the political climate, the culture, everything was so new to me and I really had to take time to begin to understand it. And I'm still doing my best to understand it. Something that's really interesting is the way that people perceive me. Until they hear my American accent, many people actually think that I'm a Cape colored and that I'm from here. And one of the craziest things that happened to me when I moved here is I actually switched races. In America, I'm perceived as black, but here, I'm perceived as colored. And I've always had a little bit of an identity crisis when it comes to my racial identity, but coming here has truly shown me how much of a social construct race is. It can be challenging navigating the reality of geopolitics. I didn't understand what media imperialism was until I came here. It blows my mind how pervasive American culture is here in South Africa. People here are up to date on American culture, American music, American celebrities, the politics of America. It's as if the people here are constantly bombarded with the news of what's going on in America and are keeping up with it as if it's their own country. And I truly feel that people don't talk about media imperialism enough. But compared to America, South Africa is honestly much richer in culture. So far in just six months, I've met someone from virtually every country on the continent and people from all over the world. There are so many languages and identities and stories here. And I love hearing these stories about where people come from and why they came here and what they're hoping for. And all of these stories are tied together by the social and political history of this country. But the truth is colonization and apartheid are not part of South Africa's past. They're part of the present. They're actually still happening now. And you can see how life here is affected by those systems Apartheid only ended in 1994. There are so many people you meet who remember what life was like before apartheid ended. I found I can learn so much just asking questions about their opinions on the state of society and how things have changed and what they're hoping for. The political scene in South Africa is very active and it seems like everybody wants to see what's going to happen with the ANC, which is the current political regime. So even though I've only been here for six months, I've definitely gotten a taste of the culture, of the history, of the people, of the politics. It is it is a bit much at times. It's, it's almost too much to take in. The reason I make these videos is to attempt to sort of capture where I am in my, in my journey of growth. And moving here has done nothing but encourage me and force me to grow in ways that I couldn't have imagined before.
and I'm, I'm here for the growth. I'm not shying away from it. I'm embracing it fully, even when it gets hard and it does get hard at times. I'm removed from my comfort zone in so many ways, <laughs> like so many ways. The most important thing to me is I feel like I picked a good place that was a match for me. South Africa, in particular Cape Town where I'm living now, just feels right. It feels like I've been embraced. It feels like there's a lot here for me to explore and to see and to do. Like I said, I am a student, but I'm also an artist and I've had some chances to really explore that, whether it's collaborating with other musicians, making music of my own, doing some public performances, which have all been very far out of my comfort zone. I even started doing a bit of acting. I was able to be a, an extra in this Netflix series called Blood and Water. So you can check me on the season three finale whenever that comes out. <laughs> Cape Town is an incredibly special place. I think I really picked a good place to live. And um, yeah, this wasn't supposed to be some political piece about why black Americans must move to Africa. Because the truth is, I'm in Cape Town, South Africa. Africa is a big continent. It's just a piece, right? A small piece of what this of what this continent is like. I haven't even left the country yet, you know? But if there's someone out there who's thinking about coming here or visiting, I would encourage you to, to check out what this place is about. It's a special place. And if you're open-minded, if you're willing to embrace new cultures and see things from different perspectives, if you like a challenge, if you can embrace the discomfort and you want that growth, then I highly encourage you to take that step. It might be one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Since coming here, I've experienced some of the most beautiful moments that I never could have imagined. Indescribable realizations and invaluable personal growth and, and a new perspective on life. I've met some of the kindest, most amazing people here, South Africans, people from other countries in Africa, people from all over the world. I've experienced a really wide range of emotions from experiencing those beautiful things to also being overwhelmed, to also feeling lonely. It feels like I left a lot of my friendships back home on pause and kind of came out here with nothing. It does get hard, it feels like I'm in this country by myself. But I'm only six months into this 18 month journey and I'm determined to make the most of it. If you're a South African and you're watching this and there was something that connected with you, something interesting that I said, a question you have, a disagreement, leave a comment. If there's something that you think I should experience while I'm in this country, let me know. I would love to check it out and hear from you. Now this is a journey that I guess you are now on with me and um, I hope you're as excited as I am.